Hey guys, it's Chris and it is time to get crafty. The best results come from using tried and tested methods. Today I will be teaching you 10 fundamental painting hats for you to use on your next DIY project. Let's dive right in! Tip 1. Line your paint trays with aluminum foil or cling wrap. This way you clean up easier after painting and you also get to reuse your paint trays. Okay, so you just gotta scrunch it up real tight on the sides to avoid pressing so much into the middle because you might tear your aluminum foil. Tip 2. To minimize paint splatters with your roller, take a pair of scissors and trim the hair off of your paint roller. Tip 3. And this is by far my favorite. To keep the paint from dripping down the sides of the can or bucket when using a paintbrush, use a rubber band and put it around an open can or bucket to scrape off excess paint. Like so. Tip 4. Easily remove drywall dust, cobwebs, and other debris from walls with a sweeper. Tip 5. You can easily remove masking tape by heating it first with a blow dryer. Once it's warm, it peels right off, which avoids damaging surfaces or furniture. Tip 6. Cardboard boxes protect floors best because they're thick enough to absorb all the paint spills and splatters. Lay them tight against the wall and move them around when painting across the room. Tip 7. Save paint by scraping. Once you're done with your paint rollers and need to wash them off, scrape them down with a putty knife first because doing this will make it easier to rinse off and you can save the extra paint for future jobs. Tip 8. Have a spot you don't want painted? Simply apply petroleum jelly all over to protect it from paint. Afterwards, wipe it off. Tip number 9. To easily open a latex paint bucket without worrying about dried paint around the lid, place a plastic wrap before covering with the lid. Tip 10. Use the M-like pattern when painting walls to maximize spread. Coming back over the M evens it out. Make sure you apply the tips and tricks I shared with you in your next DIY project. For more content like this, do check out Studio B and MyVoiceIn.com. Once again, do not forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!